Hey everybody, welcome to Jerry's Live. As always, I'm your host, Amy Gardner-Dean, and we've got a special guest in the house today. Today's episode is JL164. It is an abstract paint along with Amy and Ophelia Staten's in the house. I don't why am I clapping and for myself? And this probably could be not a train wreck that won't, uh, that will end. It will well, always be. We have not been able to get together during all of this. Yes. Other than for a, here's a, a supply. Yes, here's, yep. you, I will step back now and you may take it from the hood of my car. <laughs> so this, <laughs> we've been over here going, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, like we're kindergarten oh kids back gosh, in a classroom. Because we always have so much fun together. We do. Always, always, always. We do. And, Ooh. you know, as soon as the stuff goes south, you call your friend and your friend says, let me come help you. So oh, you can thank the right. finger for Ophelia coming Ooh, to help I out. <laughs> She's that. like, I forgot. That is put correct. It, put it out. Let me stomp it again. So, <laughs> so that's why we're doing this. So today's episode, just if you've got supplies of any type, any type, we're using the Lucas Krill, Those the studio my... acrylics yes, in the acrylic. bottle. So it's nice and easy to get out. We've already got our colors out. And as usual, I put out more than I should, which she's already I pointed think I out. Pull, I put out a lot as well. I don't I no, put out the whole yeah. rainbow. But um, this is usually what you will find on my palette. Yes. All of them yes. are Lucas except this orange. Yes. Is um, Sennelli Abstract 615. It's just a nice she knew punch the color, of an orange. The color number. Yes, it's you, my you're favorite. Like, it's 615. It's, I that's like, the one. Yeah, I never know the name of this. No, you knew the um, number, so that made it easy. But it's 615, so that's... I just like it because it's a nice opaque punch of color. Yes, it is. Yes. So, uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Let's no. Play. So she, she's just guiding us, and I will be painting right-handed. Yes, and instead that's, of left-handed today. So it's so perfect. this is going to be, this could be very crazy. I think it's I'm. Gonna be I'm great. ready. I'm it's painting on this for the first time. Yes. And that was the thing. I decided that she, that if if I was going to be thrown for a loop with the right hand, we were making her paint on linen. We might want to remove our. Oh, giblets, mine is removed. Amanda. Yes. Mine so that, is yes, removed. But I've never the Centurion painted on Museum this. canvas. It's the acrylic prime, so it's fine for our acrylic. So so you're painting on linen for the first time. I feel so. like this is so very fancy. And, so and you know what? You've already gotten little uh -huh. color things. So Oh, it's okay. Nope. I like that one. I'm You've got the pristine okay. one now. All righty. Uh, well, since it's pristine, we're going to go ahead and wreck it. So um, let's just honestly jump in. And the thing for me is anytime I show up to a surface, and I, I don't know if it's just my way of showing up in my studio or a way for me to let this canvas know who's the boss. Um, I always grab my Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil and um, I use this to kind of take control of the situation. And so um, first, it's just, it's honestly just so great to be Wrong. back tonight. Um, my aunt in South Carolina watches this show religiously and she said what she saw it pop up where I was gonna be on tonight. So, hey, Aunt Mimi. Hi, Aunt Mimi. <laughs> yep. So, anywho, this Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black Pencil is the one that I use to kind of make my larger marks on my pristine surface. Um, and this just kind of lets me know it's time for me to begin. But then it's also a way to just kind of get out of my head. Mm, yes. So, you've got your right hand. And mm -hmm. this is where we're going to make Amy just kind of play but literally just, it doesn't even matter. We're, we're not doing anything serious, but just kind of, and you'll notice I'm even twirling my pen as I go, but just make marks because we got to show this thing who the boss is. And we also have to show this thing that we're not afraid of it. Beautiful. It's where you don't even think about it. Um, now I've shown it that I am the boss. There you go. That's I've shown it. Good. I've shown it that I am the boss. Now, I don't know why, but every single time I get white paint and I come back and I apologize. I don't, it's, <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the way that I work. Um, I like using like a Polar Flow brush. Um, we have both also used gloves in a bottle just because I start with a brush and we've got a bunch of brushes. I start with a brush, but then I usually always get my fingers in 
which I cannot wait for you to maybe try. And you know what I'm, I know I've got a, I, Oh, you've got and a situation. I've got something else on it on, so. Okay, um, all right. Just, I, I forgot to say at the beginning, for anybody that's curious about what colors we're using, or any of the brushes or supplies, if you go to jerrysartorama.com, type in keyword JL164, that will pull up the list of these colors because she has a very specific color palette. Which, it's irrelevant for them to use at home. If they've got them, great. But we just want them to play. Absolutely. So, but that's, Absolutely. that's where you can at least see what there mm -hmm. is. I'm doing okay. this so they can see and then. Okay. Yep. I don't. It, all right. It's, we're going to be all I over the place. I just wanted it so they could see. Oh, I see what you mean. I, we're literally right. going to be all over the place. All over. Um, because that's kind of how I work. And um, one thing that I will stress that's pretty important is whenever you like this color palette, as Amy mentioned before, I use this palette pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, I use Lucas acrylic paints. Those are my favorite. So I've gotten to know these colors like mm. the back of my hand. Um, and I know without even thinking anymore that everything that I do here is going to work. Um, and I don't even have to stop and think like, oh, I wonder what this will do with this color. Right, right, right. Um, so one thing in your sketchbook, which um, I brought mine along, and I, mean, I always talk way too much. Before. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry about it, it, that. It helps people understand <clears throat> the process of where you're coming yes. from. Because people think abstract just means you slap some stuff down and ta-da. Uh, that kind of, yeah, you're right, but it no, takes no, but some this back is, end work. You say that, but then you bring all this, this like, <laughs> pre-planned gobbledygook. No, I promise. And it's I like, promise. see, thank you. Uh -huh. Back that up. Um, the thing that I do, and you know, it's I guess I do it anytime I have like that, so I a. Is it kind of in the middle here? Yeah. Um, it's instead of I guess I keep everything um, very simple when I start, so that when I start, I get out of my head and I get to work. So I've got my color palette here, and I can kind of work this side. Oh, that's why you over or this side over. Um, that makes sense. Does it now okay. that I see that? Okay. And because yeah. um, well, and I see how you get these mixes. Uh huh. Because on my studio wall, I keep just a color wheel, and I will kind of glance up at it as I'm working. Um, so if my painting is majority these warm colors, I know I need myself some sort of a spice color or like a a punch color, um, and so I'll just look opposite. And this is probably the closest that I have. Look at that. But you know what Very I'm saying? So that. that's kind of how it goes. Or if I flip it and use it all blues and greens, mm -hmm. my orange, that number 615 Sennelier, that's my punch color or my spice color. Um, so that's how I kind of go as I'm working, and which we'll do that punch color far later um, when we start adding in the details. But as I'm planning things out, I want to just... Um, I want you to think about this one because I am and was the world's worst at every color I had in my studio was on my table and on my palette and then it just got too confusing and I could never figure out why my paintings weren't coming together. Mm. Um, and so I, I, I finally had to just say like, wait a minute, you know, a, a few colors is perfect. Get to know those colors. Um, and so... What I started doing was, okay, so if we look here, I've got my Indian yellow, that light rose, that number 615, mm -hmm. that carmine, turquoise, and then a Payne's gray is what I always use as a black, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if I mixed all of these colors together, I'm going to get a neutral color. Nice. Okay? That's a nice color. And you see, so these all look kind of like, ugh, on their own, or, you know, just their pure color on their own. Yes. But look at a color story. That's Gorgeous. when I mix yes. everything with that neutral color. So a lot of times, instead of going for a black or a gray, I will just take every color on my palette, mix them together and make a big pile of that as my neutral and start mixing that in to all of my colors mm -hmm. to get myself more of like a color story yeah, going yeah. in my painting. This is um, really, these are really nice. You know, it's almost it's like just, a brass. Yeah, like just a, taking this yeah. neutral where I mixed mm -hmm. everything together and then mixing them mm -hmm. one by one. These, I don't know if that makes yeah, sense. No, it does. Um, so that makes my neutral or my gray. 
Um, and then the thing is, a lot of times, if even if you don't feel super productive or you're just not in the mood to create something, my favorite thing is just take your colors. Pick a color like this beige. I've picked that color and I've started mixing it with all of the colors I have in my arsenal. That way I know mm -hmm. exactly what I'll, I will get if I start mixing that with other colors in my palette. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's great. And I see you did that with Payne's. Payne's gray as well. With all of the colors. And that just kind of lets you know exactly what you'll get so that when you start painting, you're ready to just roll. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've we've it's got like our an, color our story down or something. Uh, you know, I try. <laughs> I, I sometimes I, you're right. You're right. No, and I do this, this all the time for my students in class. I am I'm, that teacher. You're I'm, right. I'm glad because we always say swatch. Uh -huh in place so that you know and so it's not crazy and it just oh no it's her time well spent when you get to learn your colors mm -hmm. um another thing that i love to do is every single color in my arsenal um i'll take that pure color and it everything goes through um i guess values where there's that pure color and for this one for instance i just used carmine um mixing it with white i'm gonna get myself a tint Mixing it with yes. gray. Can you tilt see? it up like this? Because it's, it's okay. Oh, Katie, can you do the overhead again? I'm sorry. Maybe. Mixing it with that gray is gonna get yes, my there's white a here, nice so tone. Can, oh, to sorry. See. Yes, there is white. Yeah. Um, will get me a tint, a tone, and then with that paint gray because I just don't use black, it's gonna get me a shade. Now taking all of that away, look at the cool values you get just from, from that, that one color, color. Yeah. so that's sometimes even when you're in your studio it doesn't have to be producing work and banging out work it could just be learning and mixing and playing right. and so then you're ready to go i'm gonna move this out of the way because i noticed you you paint mainly in oils yes i paint mainly in just parcella <laughs> because i noticed that you keep everything spritzing, spritzing no, it's your acrylic paint. i don't want it to I, and see i just trust it I, I trust them that yeah. they're going to be okay while I'm over here blabbing. Um, one reason why I love these Lucas paints so very much is because of the application. Now, remember I said I put these marks down to let this canvas know who's the boss. <coughs> now, I, I kind of apologize, and I do one of these, okay? And just, I promise, just trust me. I know you're like, wait, do, what? Do I have to do it with white? You do not. Do you can color? do it with whatever color you want. Just know that this Jumbo Jet Black Pencil is an oil impregnated charcoal. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to kind of blend and give you some cool grays. So if you put down a yellow, just know that that's yellow with a black, and it's going to give you maybe a not-so-fun color. So I'm just <laughs> going to apologize. Down. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to apologize here automatically. This um, Jumbo Jet Pencil gives me some really neat grays to kind of begin with and now i what's most important is you just keep going you just you don't think about it you just trust yourself you trust the process um some of my greatest Ooh. teachers before are the ones that just let me sit there and even if i struggled but I, they would let me sit and just figure it out and be with my paints and be with my materials. Um, and those have been the greatest teachers of all time. So I'm just gonna pick up a color and really. Oh, you like actually did it across the whole thing. Well, oh yeah, God. just go for it. Just see, I'm I, going feel as like, fast as I, can. I feel like you're just like me. Well, I'm doing it with my other hand. No, so. this is true. This Oops, is true. So. Just no, you're, hand. you know what, Amy, you're great. You are doing great. Do you want me to take some of that off for you? No. You sure? Uh, you're you're doing no. a beautiful job. Um, I always keep my white paint nearby, and usually I will put out way more white than everything else. Do you want me to pick some of that no. up? You sure? Okay. Um, than everything else because it kind of helps me maybe put things back some. So... All I'm thinking about doing right now, in all honesty, and I want us to, I can't remember if we talked about this the last time I was here, but I want you to equate this whole situation to you getting ready to go to like a fancy dinner or a wedding or something special. And you kind of go to your closet, 
you pick out your outfit. So these represent your clothes. Your job right now is to just get your clothes on. So we cover this surface with our clothes and we'll come back later and add in our like statement your jewelry accessories. and your accessories. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna accessorize much later, but for right now, don't think about it. Just like you wouldn't think about so no your shapewear. On. This I'm beyond the shapewear. <laughs> you, oh, oh, this is true. Sorry, we got to back up and put on a. What do you call those things? The the shapely sheep thing. Yeah, that's we're over that now. We're Thanks. over. That's it. So we're just you just put yourself some color down. See if you um, like where it's going. For me, I don't. I literally don't I'm trying to work fast. It's oh not working. Gosh. It's okay. It's well. This is very different for you because, oh, do you see that nice, pretty yeah, grayish color that. that you got? I like it. That's that's why I just love that pencil so very much. All right, I'm gonna. This canvas does feel I'm very, gonna apologize very nice. because I'll probably be sticking my tongue out for most of this. Why are we sticking our tongue? Because it's how I can control the brush. Oh. Don't you do that? That's how she thinks. Well, that and the Genius. smell of smoke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Genius. Genius. You know what I just thought of? I might put in way, my, way um, more paint on this than I probably should be. It's okay. In my sketch. Okay, see, I'm already dirty and we've just been here, what, five minutes? Maybe three minutes? I'm filthy. Sorry, it's going to be a long time. So you, um, you're can crunchy. Can you tell exactly what you're I do all the time? You're crunchy. Um, in my sketchbook, however, is exactly what I do if I discover a new paint. Like, um, you know, I thought since I've been painting for a while, I've kind of run the gamut of all the paints out there. Um, and I discovered last week a new, it's an Amsterdam paint, um, <sighs> Naples Yellow. I literally need it like pipeline to my house. It's just such a beautiful How? color. I've never, never I don't, I've never tried it before. Uh, I don't, it's just such a beautiful, creamy, buttery color. Yeah. That just, oh. That was my, um, that was my thing in college was Naples yellow and um, Prussian blue. Oh, yeah? There's okay. a period that my friends joke is the, like that period I understand. Of, of all my college of works. Yours. Yes, I everything's got that. I'm also going to say, um, if you are painting and you ever feel like you're getting stuck, um, for me, that's when I pull in my marks or Amy pulls in her paper towel. It's totally just, no, I just wipe it back. I want to just soften it. I do like it. It's kind of chunky. Okay. So all right. not happy. Okay, nope, that's the beautiful part with acrylics is they dry very quickly and you cover it up. I don't know why I use the brush to put down the paint, but then take away or use my hand to kind of smooth it out. Um, speaking of, okay, so as I was saying, because my being around you just gets me all rattled, but I've got these two pencils and if ever I get stuck in this process, I will literally take a like a regular HB pencil or um, um, this Jerry's Jumbo Jet is usually the star so I try to have myself like a really hard lid and this guy is its job in this whole situation is to just give me baby marks and by baby marks while my paint mm. is still wet I just start making marks right whereas this guy when we put it down it's gonna be like yeah I'm here boom so this guy just kind of gives me little Ooh, tiny baby marks. I like that. Um, and uh -huh. it, it's it's subtractive like a palette there knife would you be. Are. And you know but what else? It gives an, a nice additive, mm -hmm. like at the bottom of that. Mm -hmm. And because the paint is yes, wet, it picks up paint up and it can put it somewhere else, which is my favorite thing to do. Um, another thing that I su should also suggest is. Um, I spend a great deal of time, for instance, like these brushes are the Ebony Spen Splendor. Um, I like this pack, which you can find in the, tell them that name again. Oh, in the Try It. I think that's one of the Try It mm -hmm. series where you can, you can get, 
I think there's eight brushes in that, or the we're okay. also using the um, the Creative Mark Staccato, and that's the Try It. Okay. Okay. Version. The as Try well. It version. Um, these guys, like every time I get a a new brush or literally any new material, it makes its way into my sketchbook first, because um, depending on the size of the brush, you'll get yourself some really nice marks mm -hmm. or some splatters. Um, and what you don't, or I always feel like I don't want to go into it blindly or with any kind of surprises. So I will take my brush, to, loaded of course, to my sketchbook and just spend some time seeing what kind of marks mm -hmm. it makes um, and what kind of splatters. If this, like this guy of course would make me like a really nice tiny splatter, mm -hmm. but it can also... And I, I wish, I'm I don't know if you guys can see, I, it's just a tiny one, okay. and my big girl glasses are not on my eyes right now, so I can't, you can put those we're going to pretend like I can see it. Um, but I literally will load my brush up with this little tiny guy, mm -hmm. and I'm just working my way down, and I literally just kind of twirl it, Okay. and that, so to me, just that. makes a nice mark. So, so just, woo, yep, put it, drag it through some pink, just drag and twirl and you're making yourself and kind of twirl it as you go yeah and so you're just making yourself some marks the beautiful part of course is if you don't like that mark that you just made because I never like them to look um, like I intentionally made meant to make them so I will always so go come back out and your... grunge it back up all right so learn your tools and so then you're just... kind of free to play. Yep. Or take your pencil and make some little tiny marks. Um, but I reserve this Jerry's Jumbo Jet Black. This one is either first where I kind of show this canvas that I'm the boss and you'll notice that that kind of becomes background noise after a while. Um, so I use this first and then I use it last. Um, I like to take these little tiny brushes, which was, I'm going to find a color that'll kind of really poke. And I can do myself some little marks. Okay. I'm guessing that's the small, the filbert. The um, I don't know, my big filbert. Are you can really yeah, see it. Yeah, looks that. like it. Okay. Here well, yeah, I held it over here, though. <laughs> Notice <laughs> I can see it there. <laughs> okay, however we need to do it. And I'm gonna put okay, so I'm supposed some to be little. Trying some. You can do all sorts. No, I'm of just stuff. Try, I'm trying. That's kind of yeah. A little heavier than I wanted. Oh, I see what you mean. And just making yourself some marks. Um, it's honestly up to you. This the thing is, I guess like I always tell my students, every time you go to paint, just. Keep in mind that it's the process that you love and not the end result. So you're just kind of doing something that you really love to do and you're not really worried about mm -hmm. what it's going to look like on the end or on the back end. And you just kind of have fun playing with your materials and doing that kind of stuff. You know, just playing around, playing around. I also... And I'm gonna make me some some soup to give myself a splatter here and there. I'm not gonna. Right. Well, I guess I did splash you. I don't know. I no, I don't me. think you did. No. Um, but now I'm gonna have to try that. Okay. So then, can I? Well, I know you're doing it with your right hand. Mm -hmm. And is that why you're being very steady with it? Because I'm. Yes. Okay. Because I thought you were trying to be intentional. Because then I was going to put you in timeout. Well, oh, I was. She was being intentional. intentional. You just where, where do I get? Yeah, where do I go no, for timeout? And you is would there enjoy wine? timeout. So no, no timeout. Okay, for so you. what do I need to do? Um, no, but to, see, like to, you made yeah. those lines, but you did it very intent. Just go for it. Just boom, 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 and then they don't look perfect. They just look. Well, now Amy's going to. Now she's doing the angry marks. No. <laughs> Yeah, you just, there. then it's not so I pristine. actually like that better because it's see what I'm easier saying? to, it's just going. It's almost like a negative instead of a positive. I All right, just, now I'm going to splash stuff. Okay. No. Um, to splatter things, 
All right, now I gotta pull out my big girl glasses because you wanna find yourself like this staccato, is that what it is? This mm -hmm. number one round? Oh, see one round, okay. All right, so that, and this is kind of tricky and you honestly just have to practice it because if you have too much water, it makes it look like you've got dirty spots. Um, and so <laughs> if there's not enough water, you're just gonna get yourself like a thud of paint. Okay. So just, I'll just do it this way over here. Um, Watch out. And just kind of, I don't want to hit yourself. Oh, it's all right. Oh, no, I did it. Okay, so I want you to like hold it. Did like, I just get, oh no, I was like, I thought I got you. I didn't realize. <laughs> no, I'm like, already done. Yeah, no. And just kind of like, so oh, I'm so do it tap on me, you. tap it. But yeah, okay. just tap, tap or okay. um, like, do you want to do yeah, that's situations what I was, that's or, but just kind of like, floom, floom. I don't know. Like, oh, you want I mean, me to like, sling it more? Like if you're a large canvas, I usually will kind of stand back and go like, yeah. See that? Oh, you feel like you're getting yourself okay? Then no, you know, I just mm -hmm. you don't enjoy the dirty parts, do you? You just uh, no, okay. it's fine. Right, I just so then you take a there, there. there mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't enjoy the non-controlled part. Non-controlled. <laughs> That's we're getting. Well, look, I'm playing on a linen. You're non-controlled today. That's see that's too much. <laughs> I can totally tell that we're just no control. Totally yeah. See, no, no, that's, that's, but I want you to just honestly get out of your head and just go. Okay. Don't think about anything. Just think about the fact that you're playing in paint and you love playing in paint. Don't angry and throw something no. at me, but just do I'm, it. I'm just doing what I can with my left hand. Okay. See, like, <gasps> I just noticed. Okay. See, I love that because then you could take something and come back to it later. It's you, you're in charge for right now. Or I could even you're take it and. Probably one of my favorite things I know is like I wonder what would happen if she likes that. Like that. She likes that. Okay. Oh, thank you for bringing up the palette knives because you picked my favorite one. And out of I yes. don't remember what's the I name of this these. set. Is it like the Soho? Yes, it's Soho. Five come in a pack, and this is what I always it's just buy. The Soho plastic is set that, of five palette knives. I yeah. just see it at my store. Like I use this one. Um, to get my paint out of like a jar, mm. I am very guilty of being a no, double dipper in a jar. Uh, I just put my, I know, I'm sorry. I never That's... said I was needed this. <laughs> I never said, but, um, so I try to like act fancy when I'm around people and like scoop my paint out. So that's you why I hold use your this pinky one. up when you do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But usually I just, I'm a double dipper right in there. Mm. Now this guy is one of my favorite ones because this long edge mm -hmm. gives me a nice, like I can get into larger areas. Yes. Or this smaller edge can get you into like some little tiny areas. You just, I like that now I can use both sides to make marks and such like that. So, um, let's just do that right now. Amy, I feel that you're coming out of your shell with that or you're just very angry. I, I, no, I can't. It's like... I like your marks. I don't, this it's is big. not, this is not, these, my marks, it's funny because your marks have very much your personality and That's mine it. have very much my personality and I like your personality. It's, you know what? And I like your personality. <laughs> but look, I promise, you didn't even plan that and I just yeah. love that big arc situation there. We'll say I didn't, but I like that shape. So. Do you really? Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. Wasn't supposed to be planned. No, no words. No. What, what are you doing? Smacking my right hand. Oh, okay. I don't see. You let it show up for a show, and then it is like watching this. into a beast. <laughs> oh my your gosh! Brain. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm literally just using this um, palette knife to kind of give me some marks in there because I want this to dry up a little bit more before I start going crazy down here. Oh, the okay. I think, I think mine's, I feel like mine's kind of, why do I keep making the same color? I like that color, apparently. Okay. No, because it's like it. the same the color that it's kind of, Then yes. just put it in a different area. Show it some love, Amy. Show it. I want to do... Um, you know, it's also really hard to talk while you're trying to yeah, concentrate. That's, you, you just do magic on this. Every um... Time. I am not see with this. All right. All right. So oh, see, I feel it's not really gonna do pretty green. 
Yeah, that doesn't really, oh, well, there you go. Look at that. Now that's not bad at all. Me like. Me very much I just so need to mix it a little bit. And I am gonna try some of this. I am you know reserving. I'm doing an Ophelia. I'm phoning a friend. I feel my job is done here, folks. We can. Ooh, I like this. Oh, blue Amy in just put her finger in her pink. Yeah. Um, I think we're done. I don't know what time. <laughs> I feel as though my life is now complete, and I'm leaving to go home because Amy just. I think that's the first time you've ever done that. Mm, I'm very proud. Could of be. You, boo. I'm very proud. Why are, oh, why are we whispering? <laughs> I just realized, we like, wait a minute. Okay, we sorry. do this all the time. I, I'm gonna get, I don't oh, want you to plan it. Just I like. go. Just okay, go. Now I'm going to have to do Ophelia and get out of your head. Um, I just noticed in. that my dots right there were looking a little too symmetrical. So I just literally flipped my paintbrush over and kind of made it look a little bit more grungy. What? What's <laughs> Katrina's making mad faces at me? Sorry I took that part out. I'm not. Yes, you are. That's just my face. Okay. That's her face. Welcome to the jungle. What? 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 Were you, were you, I don't know were what. You singing Guns and Roses. I just realized what. Wow. I'm gonna as long as you don't do the dance, then oh, I'm okay. walking. Okay. No, we can. <laughs> you start. walk, I walk. I, mean, I go from whispering to yelling. What? <laughs> that's Woo. that's the high school teacher Literally, coming out of you. That is true. Literally, we were just whispering like we're twelve. Ooh, there was blue stuck in that. Oh, I love that punch up. I might have just used my right, oh, left hand, so it's okay. sorry. It's okay. You can do whatever you want. It's your show. <laughs> I'm just your well, guest. Case, could you say that into the microphone? Yes. Three times so we can get a really good, and I'm going to pull your, that out whatever, whenever and whenever say, you need it. remember it's Ophelia said, show. you can said, do whatever you want as long, oh, see, that's the total wrong, as long as you're having fun. Ooh. This is playtime. Amy. I, am I like how that orange makes a nice, like, peachy pink. Oh, man. These colors are just... That's I'm whispering nice. again. But I promise. You these are. These colors. I just love... I want peachy pink. There's so really many colors that, that I just... I get so attached to. Um, all right. I need to do this again. Hopefully I do not get pulled over driving tomorrow because this not. is going to be, because you know I that's not going to come off. Right? It, it totally will not come out of your hand. <laughs> it will. I promise. Mm -hmm. it, you just scrub your DNA right off and it's coming out. All right. Now what I'm finding that I'm doing, which is going to annoy me, is I feel like I'm overworking it because there it does become... I just realized I can see it over there, and that just literally, like, yours oh, is, it perfect. changes the whole perspective yes. when you look it's, up and you can see it. Yes, yours looks even better there. Would Mine. you stop? Would you, you're, 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 what is this, like a golfing, like you're on a left hand. So just Great. have fun with it. This is, we're not going to enter it into a competition. I don't know in my mind metaphors. it's a competition, but <laughs> you literally just, you're having fun. How do you know these golfing metaphors? I'm a pro. <laughs> You're a <pro. laughs> I am a pro at nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right. Sad thing is, I bet you are really good at golfing. I promise. I've See never. It. The only sport I've tried was tennis when I was in college. And my poor teacher was like, you know what? Just don't come back. You're good. Just, you've played enough for a lifetime. <laughs> so that was, that was my stint with, oh, I know what I want to do. That was so my like, stint yep, with things. I'm, yep, done, I'm done here. This my job That's right. here is done. That's right. And so then I figured since I didn't have to come back anymore, I was a pro. So was this a class yeah. or an actual Oh, yeah. it wasn't like you were trying to try out. Oh oh no, that he wouldn't let me oh. do that. No, he no. Um so I figured since he said I didn't have to come back, that just made me kind of pro status at it. <laughs> so I always you know, I'm a tennis pro. Right. Right? Yeah. Right. Lance. There's no more growth that you can have because you're there. My, He was a champion and he said, you're good. Don't come back. I'm a pro. 
my story sticking out. All right, I'm gonna, I always work like um, flipping around and oh, moving yeah, and such. That. So um, I'm gonna flip mine I upside like this down. And everything else, I'm just ready to get rid of. Up. So flip it and see what happens. Flip it. Just keep flipping and see what happens. This, the thing is, like you're totally working out of your normal way. You're, would you stop? Now you're making fun. <laughs> now you're just being... Actually, I kind of like it that way better. Ooh. Oh, wait. That looks better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I do. I, okay. We're going to go with so that. So, see? You ch flip it around yep. and you yep. get a brand we're new perspective on it. So, yep. now you just roll. Roll. Yep. We're, we're sticking with that. Roll with it. I like some of these marks. Can I go back and enhance some marks what, a little bit? Did, did you really just ask my permission? Yes. Like, but... You know what? Pronounce the L oh, and I didn't. Just I liked it, it better without the. Everything's done. Without the, you know what? I can do that now. I don't. Do people still ask questions? I don't. I don't. Do you well, the people that watch. I don't yes. Think do the people watching. that watch will ask questions anymore? I don't. Yeah. I keep waiting. Do we have any questions? Do we have any questions? Or well, I'm sure there or are just... lots of questions, but um. So, no, there's lots of people asking. Like, saying we're what is going on? Yes. Yeah. Advance it. Ugh. I'm kind of making. My, oh gosh! And see, you're so pristine at putting your brushes immediately in water, and I'm over here like. No, hey. but see, it's it's that's making me crazy. Is that my brush is in water? Okay, you don't see this. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Boo? What do no, you over there? It. Told you. A lot of times in my studio, though. As I'm doing it, I, you know, I have several things at once mm -hmm. so that when something is really wet, I just walk away and work on something else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, That's a good idea. So that I don't have to kind of stop and wait for things to dry. I just kind of move back and forth between yeah, things. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and I know that we're working on, this is linen. Yes. Which, okay, so for this time, and it's the first time ever, it's again must be a ritual sort of thing, but I always just so whenever I bring a canvas home, I don't I don't know yes. why I just I just do, um, and so um, this is the first time I've never gessoed it, so it's not that bad, is it? I just feel like here we go. Hopefully, you don't even think about it. Just do it. Oh, are you putting gesso? Oh, you're huh? doing. I'm just. Oh, you're just taking. Going for you're, it. Teaching it who's boss. That side is a little too wet just yet. So I'm going to leave that side until I can come back. And then I'm going to flip. Mm -hmm. And I don't think any. What, what, I have a question. I don't, yeah. Because I, I just, I lose track of time here. Yeah, just so that I won't run out of time. I don't know if she might have what time. What time is it? Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought you just got bored with me. No. Um, I'm she's what she's time? Multitasking. And do I am I good on time? About ten after six. Oh, you have twenty minutes. I'm not leaving. Okay, but I was gonna <laughs> say I was gonna say um, every single time that you of course start something, uh, it doesn't have to be started and finished in the same go. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I will do something and let it rest and come back tomorrow and look at it with fresh eyes. Um, so don't feel as though it has to be done all in one day. Um, I just, when I just say, I just love the whole doing of the things. So I'm not really bothered. Oops, I somehow picked up some blue, but I kind of like that. See, I love when you we pick We do up. have some questions. I don't know if they're necessarily about the technique, but they have some questions for you. Uh-oh, for yes. Amy? No, mm -hmm. her. No. Who? What? What? I'm going, hold on. Uh, uh, First of all, somebody wants to, I'll just shout out Olivia, who is new to the live stream. They want you to say hello. Hey, Olivia! Hey, Olivia. That was, I got excited. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, Olivia. That and was... then somebody would like to know what artists do you admire? Gosh, great question. That's that's a fantastic, honest to goodness, fantastic question. Um, I am lucky here in that we've got the 
retail store is literally down the road. And when I started painting, I literally would go to that store and I'm sure they were probably like, what? Like she's, she's back. Why, why is she back? <laughs> and I would go there and anytime any artist tried, you know, they were like doing store demos and such like that. I just became a student to anyone and everyone. Um, I was lucky enough to run into Joe DiGiulio, Sharon DiGiulio. Um, Joe is one of my all time epic favorite teachers. Um, another teacher that became a very good friend of mine is Lisa Creed. Um, and she was the one that just kind of taught me to, you just do and you just do. And the more that you do, the better at it you become. I literally thought that after I watched Joe paint for an hour and a half that I could walk away and be a Joe DiGiulio and I would get very, I literally used to think like I brought every material that he had. I've got his brushes, his paints. Why is my painting not looking yeah, geez, like his? Yeah, geez, Joe. Come on. <laughs> right? Why aren't, you, so, why aren't you putting the magic in your supplies? Yeah. And so literally, Lisa was the one that taught me like you don't quit. You just have to put the time in. And she would literally say things to me w when I was in class, like, just sit with it. And she, she is a phenomenal teacher because she was so great at just walking past me and going, yep, just keep going. It, you'll know when it's done. You'll know when it's ready. Um, so the people like that, um, Bob Burridge at Art of the Carolinas was one of the first classes I took at Art of the Carolinas. Um, uh, Bob Rankin, there's just those, to me, like, those guys are my masters of the art and the ones that just made me who I am by being such great teachers. I like that. Is that a right answer? That answer, no. I okay. think that's a really um, awesome answer. But it's, that's literally, I just feel so lucky. And I'll be honest, I had to um, back myself up that sounds ridiculous back myself up but I had no, to back off not. um because then I became a student and all I wanted to do was just be a student and not put the time in mm. and so I was learning and constantly learning and thought that if I just learned from Joe one more time I could paint right like Joe but no I needed to be in my studio I needed to um put what he said in my own spin, right? Does that make right, sense? Right. I don't know if no, that even makes sense. Yes, because otherwise you start becoming where you. I was a, a dependent student. You start really making practice copies of their work. That's yep. That's exactly because it's, it's it's exciting. It's coming together mm -hmm. because it's doing what you see them do, but then that's still it that, was not that's their influence. Yeah. It's not yes. It was totally. It's okay. To, it's okay to have artistic influence. It's not okay to use it as a crutch. There, there you are. So I had to back off of classes and spend it it feels like years and now i see where joe said you put the it's not the brush that's the magic and i'll use this brush it's the forty thousand miles that you put yeah. on this brush that makes your paintings yours does that i don't even know if that I makes sense that he's but giving you a cut from it's, workshops that people are going <laughs> to sign but sign it's up so for this. just mention ophelia staten it's so no that's true. i i that's they were and i was I, I will go ahead and say i was very young at the whole art thing so mm. in, i didn't even know when i first walked into the jerry's i was a quilter and i was looking for uh, fabric dye and I literally walked in there like, what? The, the internet told me to go there to get fabric dye. So oh, I did. Oh, no. How funny. Um, and I found the fabric dye, but then I also found a brand new me. And that was playing and experimenting in acrylic paint because I'd never heard of an acrylic paint. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so Joe actually worked at the store and he taught the workshops there. And literally, he was... One of those kinds of people that would be like, come here, girl, lost in the acrylic island, just get right here under my wing. <laughs> and that's just the way, so I was, I was very Joe young. Joe Julio home for wayward artists. <sighs> yeah, I was very young and he just said, "Let you got this, you, you got this. And that's kind of how I got into the whole everything. And the beautiful part, like 
um, with Lisa is that she taught me you don't you don't quit because you're frustrated. You just work harder at it, and you just keep mm. going at it. And um, it's you, you just you just do it. I don't. I mean, I know that slogan's taken, but you really you just you just go in and you do it and you enjoy it. And it doesn't matter if you throw twelve of them away to get to one really mm. good one. You just keep going. And so um, that's kind of what I like to do. I don't. I just. I call myself the chief goofer offer because I literally just like to play. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You sure? Okay, good. Mm. Too late now because I've made my whole life around playing. <laughs> I literally <laughs> have. Shh, don't yeah. I actually have another question that probably I can think might go with that, what you were just saying. Marshmallow Corgi says, I'm very much a planner when I paint. How can I shut my brain off enough to make abstract paintings without trying to plan them out? Abs this Amy. is... Perfect. Hmm. Let's oh. see what we don't do and who we don't become. Okay, so um, that's hard. That's it's hard because we are our own worst critics, and we are the ones that, as we start doing this, we get in our heads like, who do you who do you really think you are? Like you're wasting your time. You should be doing laundry. You should be do. Please stop this. This is not work. You, you just have to just go for it. And when I say I, tr I trust them, remember? I, I totally I know. trust them, but you're the I player. don't. <laughs> um, I will totally just tell you, put yourself on some music and just turn. let the whole world with its ugliness out there go and let this just become your playground. Um, it does take a minute to like shut your brain off, which is why I start out with doing this, and it doesn't matter how many times you do this because you're just going to come back and wipe it away with paint. So you just start kind of doing this situation. Um, or if you want to begin in your sketchbook, I don't know why I turned around to make sure my sketchbook was there, ah. but it's still there. Um, so it's start in your sketchbook with making marks and putting color down. Um, there are a lot of times, and see, I knew it was back there for a reason. I will go to my sketchbook is this in frame for you i don't know if it is no oh, sorry um oh sorry now that i'm covering your excuse me it's my show no just kidding it is sorry <laughs> i'd rather you but, cover it <laughs> um i will play around in my sketchbook um because then it's really no pressure this is a hundred pages of freedom so just goof mm. off and do whatever you want um so i'll play around in there before i come to here um it, it's just, gosh. Okay, so, you know, another Julio, but it's Sharon this time. Who <laughs> used to honestly Sharon tell me, and I think she's Sharon. been a, a guest on your Multiple show. Multiple times, yes, um, from Caustics. She literally would look at me, and I adore her. Um, I don't even know if she, I'm sure she, like, oh, dear, what, what are you doing with yourself? But she would literally look at me and say, just get out of your way get out of your mm -hmm. head, get out of your way. And the more times she would say it, I guess it would sink in because, you know, even now we'll talk because of course, you know, we became friends, Joe and I became friends. Um, and she will even say to me today, like, just get out of your way. And mm -hmm. it's, if I call her and I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on something, that's always her immediate response. Because again, we're our worst critics. We overthink everything. We think that something has to be perfect in order to be done. No, who made those rules? This is your painting. You're the boss of this painting. You can do whatever you want. That's kind of, that's my rule. I don't, I made it up just now, but it's <laughs> literally, that's just kind of what I live by. I, I teach high school and, you know, I tell my students when I give an assignment or I give a, a project and they kind of, you can look at a person and see when they kind of freeze up and yes. then they'll finally come look at me and say, you know, but what if I mess it up? And I'm like, dude, I've got 50 billion sheets of paper here. You can't mess them all up. Just right. relax. Just right. This is, I mean, I guess if we were brain surgeons, we'd have a different well, approach there was, to it. You know, this was the last piece of paper you had, but still. They'll make more tomorrow. Yeah. They'll make more of that. Right. I had to get out of That's my head not, on that yes. one too, you know? It's, but you know how kids feel that like, That is you know. true. Now that, that, yep. So it's just like, this to me is just, it's, 
I, I wish I could, it's like it's in me. It's just, a, it, it's just who I have to be. I'm now coming in with my punch color because, I don't know, just, <laughs> um, this is that, like your statement piece of jewelry, I guess. Um, and I just like how it just kind of sings on the canvas. I've got another question. Yes! I love questions. Sandra would oh, like sorry. to know if you can explain the distinction between a sketchbook and an art journal. Um, perfect question. For me, it's all the same. It's, it's, um, a, let's call this, so that we don't attach rules to it, we're going to call this just a workhorse. That's, this is literally what it, it's, it, it's a container that has ideas that has um failed attempts at oops am i even in for am i even here here it's, am i yes. here? okay no, i'm sorry right there. oh See? Huh. okay um but failed watercolor attempts um where i try to figure out how to mix color um this everything it is like there are <laughs> some <laughs> it's a it's literally like there are some Finished pieces. Of, oh, you know what? Okay, wait a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> you know, pro okay, so probably, okay, sketchbook is a practice. Yes. Is, is something for practice. Mm -hmm. If you're doing a journal where it's something where you're wanting to keep it as a finished art objet, objet. maybe that would be where the, where the, the distinction between uh -huh. the two is. Otherwise, it's kind of one and the same. I use it for everything. Yeah. There's sketchbook an art journal. The notes drawing yeah now that's true or practice all of, all of the above yeah and this guy is literally and a workhorse and journal may be more even just like the feelings feeling. and stuff that's going that's on with you kind of like and, a diary and being the reflection mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i use it and count it all exactly the same i don't i don't say like this book is only for sketching and this book is only for ideas and this I work in one until it's done and then I move. It's your book. You can do whatever you would like with it. Are we done? I don't know. Are we? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Do I never know what to questions? do here. Are, you, do you have any more questions? Karen would like to know. Karen has a question. If you would like, what paint drip in an abstract painting? What do you Ab feel about that? Absolute. You do you, Karen. You do whatever it is that you want. I mean, what, okay, so you do stuff and then go over it and do stuff and go over it and do stuff and go over it. So it's obvious you can let stuff drip. If you don't like it, go You're over right. it. Yep. And literally, it. um, it's, I usually will just take my brush with paint on it and kind of, let's say, put it here mm -hmm. and then take my spray bottle with, with water ink. yeah, and Two. kind of spritz it until yeah. it all dripped. And yeah. it's whatever... This thing you are the boss of, so you just get to do whatever it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now we had a couple of people who joined us a little bit late today. I think they missed the very beginning, but can you kind of show them the, your swatches and stuff and how it relates back to yes. the painting? And absolutely, because I did absolutely here, none of that here. on this. Let's put it right there. So where do I put this? I'm just, oh, gonna, just oh, here we are. All right, so sketchbook, finding it. Finding it, finding it, f finding it. Okay, so. Um, Is that right over here so that you did? There you go. Can you see it? Oh, perfect. Okay. It's all in the frame. In the beginning, I started off with titanium white, and I use a lot of white. I've got some um, Indian yellow, light rose, carmine, light gray, beige, uh, Payne's gray, mm -hmm. and turquoise. All of these are Lucas. And then I've got this number 615 orange. And so I, I don't use black in my palette, but if I wanted to make a neutral color and kind of make my painting come together, I will take all of these colors right here that I just named off, mix all of them together, and I come up with this neutral color so that we could even you know use that to work with values. That color, I will then mix with every single color. 
And do you see how this then becomes a better color story than just all of these together? Mm -hmm. So that's, I like to use that as kind of a way to even spice things up because now I've got brand new colors that work magically together than these colors. Well, see, and I've used your cheat sheet and that's why I've pulled some mm -hmm. of those colors out that I liked those. So a lot of times in my studio, if I'm just not in the mood to paint, I will just pull down my colors and play. Um, if a new color comes into my studio, I spend time with said paint, getting to know it and what it's gonna do with the rest of my colors. Because these guys, I've, I guess since the, when I first started painting with acrylic paints, um, I painted with Lucas and Matisse because that was all that the Jerry store or me being a brand newbie, I felt comfortable spending money on. Now, of course there's, you know, Charvin's out there, which is a really good higher end. Um, I fell in love with these in all honesty because I was teaching a, um, an art club and mm, for, yeah, for the bottles, I don't even remember 10 bucks because I watch them for when they go on sale, but I could get all of this paint. Um, so that's what I got them. And one day we we're mixing colors and I was like, oh my gosh, that's a really nice mixture. It's you, you mix that red, you mix that yellow, you're going to get yourself a nice orange. So from that time, I've been working with Lucas paints, you know, for the long haul, which means this color combination, it's, I can put it on my palette and it almost does the painting for me because I've gotten to know it so well. But I do spend the time doing stuff like this um, all the time. I just feel like it's just another way of being creative if you don't even want to be creative. Well, and this, is, and this is something that people are always like, well, how many hours did something take you? You can't equate a painting by hours because you've done your homework, so to speak. Yeah. On the back end because the more of this you do the more when you get this out if you have less time you're going to be able to knock something out much mm -hmm. faster because you're very comfortable anymore. with the yeah. with with the products and with you already know the color mixtures like you said in the back of your hand it's just it becomes second nature and mm -hmm. i can't remember who asked the question of how do you shut your brain off um this all helps you just to go because you're not thinking like, oh, I wonder what color it will make if I mix those two together. You already know because you've already done it. Mm -hmm. And you just, now you just get in your studio, your music is pumping. You're not even thinking about anything that matters in this whole world except for you and that substrate in front of you and your colors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this out of the way now. I feel like, I feel like I've just solved all the world's problems and I'm done. <laughs> I am done. I'm okay. sweaty. So, so pull your artwork over because it's 630. Oops, here. I'm going to move this here. Slide this here so they can see it on the thing because oh. see how you're the picture in picture. You're kind of. So these same colors. In progress. Yes. Same colors. I'm cheating because see Cheat. that square just didn't look um, like it was my there friend. There she goes. It just didn't look like it Two wanted to totally play. totally different. But you know, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, two totally different outcomes. Yeah, and that's, I mean, the thing, we all have our styles. We mm -hmm. all have our our gifts. We all, like, one of these days, I and Amy will tell you guys, all we talk on the phone almost daily, and I'm like, please just show me how to do this. Will you please just help me do this? And she's like, oh, sure, it's, it's so simple. No, 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 it's not simple because you do it every day all day long like i do which, this yes. every day yes. all day long um which i promise this will take two seconds it brings me to another point okay now it's more than two seconds let's be honest but it brings me to another point um we are very good at watching other people do their mm. thing and cheering them on and in our heads we're like oh my god i'm not good enough i'm just not nope right nope you will never see i will never post on instagram the things that go in the garbage I only post the things that are done. So don't use my feed as like the rule because for every one of these, five of, now I'm throwing things, but five of them are in the garbage or go to my like, I'll come back to you later pile. So just keep that in mind as you're working. 
um, and as you're playing is that, yes, I do love coming to you or you or you or you for inspiration, but I can't let it get in my head. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to share with you folks. So if you enjoyed this and you saw some of Ophelia's journal, Ophelia does have on the Jerry's Artorama YouTube channel some journaling mixed shows. Mixed Media Monday. So, Mixed Media Monday. So, yes. check those out for stuff that if you're not ready to just put it down on canvas, but you want to play, play, she gives you great ideas for how, mm -hmm. how to do that. Even just you can follow along. Stop, and the products touching. are listed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and just. I'm on Instagram because I've already shamelessly plugged it um, at Ophelia Staten. So, just check it out, but don't check it out. You know, like, look at it and then go like oh yay but then that's it you can't but then go and do right you do go do your art. thing and put show Don't take as much time on the world there you go. that's yes. a great way to do it so um because i get sucked down that rabbit hole I okay so I we've got like winners done. from from uh from a winner. I, I know right that just made me sweat all right so, um, so this was the, it was underwater, right? Under the sea. Under the sea. Under, okay, so that yes. was, whoa. I was going to say, I wanted to start singing that with, with the crabs uh -huh. accent. Uh -huh. uh, we're not going to do that because do people want to keep their eardrums. No, no, this you is keep working on it. Okay. Because uh, she'll put it up and I can do the, the, um, Oops, okay. Sorry. So there were a lot of really awesome things. Third place for a Jerry's e-gift card. Marilyn Ware of Turlock, California. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I see she's in the uh, National Watercolor Society because she's got her little. I was wondering what that was. Yep. I oh that yes, out. but that's this, this is watercolor beautiful. though. That's and very and beautiful. printouts on our paper here do not do justice to this. So definitely, people need oh, to go and take a look beautiful. at that because the depth to this is amazing. Um, Melissa Hedge. Of, okay, so lots of people did jellyfish. And, and I'm here to tell you, I think the biggest thing that I noticed with the underwater stuff was people get really excited because it's something they feel comfortable doing. Composition seems to go out the window. Look at the freaking composition Ooh. with this. The movement in that is The insane. movement in this. That's and the color. This color pops. And this is not as deep as it looks like on, mm -hmm. on, you have to see this on the computer screen because it, A, I pictured it as like six feet by eight feet or something because it just looked oh my because the, because the 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 view here looks like it's all must be wrapped all around mm -hmm. you so i just oh that's true. Mike mentally assumed that it's it's this gorgeous one? melissa hedge of hattiesburg um mississippi ms is mississippi yes, mm -hmm. yes. and then this now. i want to see in person it's it's just helene rush of windham center maine this also oh you've got to see uh, on oh, the thing beautiful. it looks like it's done on Yupo, and i don't know if it's inks or watercolor but the colors are so vibrant on this these blues are super blue this like nice warmth here it's just absolutely gorgeous i would love to know how big this is Tell and us. what's what it's done with because this That's was true. just stunning and beautiful. yes and there there was a one that that i that just didn't quite sneak in there, but it was like, like a lot of people do mermaids, right? Mm -hmm. It was this very subtle, it's near the end, this very subtle mermaid that's like where it looks like you're in the watery depths. And it's like, you know how a mermaid's supposed to be like the made up things that people would kind of see at sea when they were out too long. Mm -hmm. It's like one of those things that it looks like how you would envision somebody seeing it and then Ooh. not seeing it. It's, it's really cool. So we don't know who did it, but I, but I really like that too. All right. So next week is something sweet so i is that are they just taking that as just that phrase and running with it it could be candies cakes donuts donuts whatever you consider something Ooh, sweet that's nice. grandchildren i, I don't uh-huh you know that's a great idea. To, yeah open it's, it's open wide open for interpretation something sweet. but that is next week <laughs> Pickle puss. <laughs> Not something to do. Oh All right. Oh my god. So this is awesome. Now next week, because I'm going to be rolling into town at the last second uh, before the show, because I'm moving to Riker grad school, we are having another color episode. 
we've been doing these color episodes where we talk about color and what pigments are in them and what that means as far as kind of the colors themselves and how they'll perform. Yellow is a huge color that's everybody knows and everybody uses as primaries and then people have lots of problems mixing with it, right? Yes. Because yes. yellow is yellow is yellow, yes. right? And it is Remember not. Remember I just warned you at the beginning. Yes. yes. So yes. yellow is going to be what it is. We're going to do some drawdowns of the color. We're going to talk about those pigments in it. We're using the Charvin acrylics. But there's like some, in, in looking at the stuff, there's some pigments where we're going to be able to look at it like we've done with oils before and make some of those really cool colors on our own. I, I'm putting my hands in my See, I was being too controlling and then you can't stop. So we're a pair, a lot of us. We are. <laughs> Let me tell you. So that will be next week. So um, everybody stay safe. Please. Watch this a couple times and, and go to town. Have some fun. Please. And and have fun. Yeah, have fun. And thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. Take care and be well. We'll see you next week.